Hey, good morning. This is Alex with Windy Brook Ridge Homestead. I'm about to show you how cut flowers can be grown in the middle of winter. As of right now, we're in a cinder block basement. It's about 1,600 square foot of growing space down here. Uh, we have four rows behind me, you can see, with probably around 85 LED 1,000 watt or greater lights in here. Today, we're working with dahlias, uh, as well as ranunculus behind the dahlias. We have calla lilies growing over there. Uh, they're probably around four foot tall. Uh, we have 60 foot rows in here. Well, that took a little work, but now I've got the table in ready to set up for flowers. Right now I'm working on the stage of germination and the majority of my seed I get from Johnny Seed. I have planted Dara, Snapdragon, Lupin, um, and maybe a couple other things. I have it over in my box here of what I planted. About an hour and 15 minutes in and I planted around 564 plugs. You might have seen uh, that we keep this room dark and the reason why for that is at nighttime you get a discount of 25% from the power company and so uh, to cut down costs and make things more productive and of a profit margin you would grow only at nighttime uh, and the rest is during the day when it's all dark in here but right now I've got the light behind me which makes things all different colors and that's just to set up for germination for the field. It takes around 25 to 30 man hours per week to take care of a facility like this. And the reason I'm showing you all of this is because a small plot of land can produce a lot of flowers, a lot of produce. You can do it yourself. So what I've done is went around and turned the lights on so you can get an idea of what it looks like on the full swing of things at nighttime. And you can see that we're almost to maturity levels on everything. So what we do is we take it to the market down in Charlotte, Statesville, Mooresville, down in North Carolina. And people don't take in consideration when you go to a grocery store, where are your flowers coming from in the middle of winter? Well, for one, they're coming from here. Uh, if you're not getting them from an indoor grow facility or a greenhouse, then you're probably getting them from somewhere overseas like Jerusalem, Spain, Ecuador, and these are the things you need to take in consideration. And this is all part of following the simple life. Um, just showing people how to grow. And we'll be switching out into the field, actually in front of my house on the hill, right there where the goat's at, in a few short months. For the most part, I finished up what I need uh, for the transplants, and now I have to head to the farm. To